in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. What we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm not the. I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of My in the Kitchen Quick Meals Edition with your girl Lexi, Lexi Poo. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, 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 <laughs> and ding, make sure you hit that bell to be notified. Okay, so now this is my pot. This is a really big pot. I'm not sure how big it is. I know it's really big. Maybe like a six or seven gallon pot. But look, so far I'm doing a crab bowl. This why I got in it. I got my bowl in the bag. I got uh, green onions, bell peppers. I hit a little onion mix. Veggie blend I put up in there, and y'all can't see it down there. Y'all see that? That's garlic. All right, I'm gonna add a few more things. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna add my lemon. Just a half a lemon. I cut it in half. Y'all see that? Here go my seasonings. Complete. What's this? Oregano. I ain't mean to take that out. Oh, uh, but it's okay. I can still add some of that. Ground red pepper accent. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. Parsley, I then boom, crab boil, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how much to add this because this is a little salty. Okay, y'all, let's get to seasoning. I say you'll put about, watch how much y'all put in because remember I told y'all it's hot. Oregano, garlic. Onion powder. Black pepper. Parsley. Complete. I already had added my accent a little bit prior to the video, y'all. Okay, y'all, even though this cup say one third, y'all see it? It's really like one fourth in here. You see, I don't have a cup full all the way up. Put that up in there. Let me show y'all the seafood. So as y'all know, it's only me and Tony, so we got four potatoes. He was gonna get him some sausage right now. Uh, then we have, he don't eat crab legs, so these are just for me. Crab legs, and most of these shrimp are for him. And I'm gonna do some eggs, y'all. Okay, so let me tell y'all the secret to a perfect boil. When I tell you, I does this. I does this. I does this. This really nigga. So you just gonna do that while I'm recording? My bad, y'all. That was a washing machine. It don't. It don't care that it do that. Oh, excuse me. The secret to a boil is do your water like this, y'all. I promise you, these veggies make a difference. I'm telling you, take the time. I ain't cut it up in five pieces. I cut it up in big chunks. And just throw it in there. Really, you can use kind of like whatever veg you got. Now, I ain't saying put no zucchini up in there. Now, come on now. I'm saying like garlic, onion, any type of onion, any type of bell pepper, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But when I tell you that that makes a difference, I'm going to tell you why it makes a difference. When we come back and I show y'all the water, y'all, you're going to boil this for maybe like an hour and a half, almost two hours. You're going to boil it until your water turns red, y'all. Red, red. You want to know why? First of all, it's going to let, it's going to give it time for, you know how they say soup be simple ingredients, but the cooking time is really what make it, that love get into it. That's how you're going to get that love in your seafood boil. Now, I'm going to show y'all my sauce, okay? It's already made. I made it months ago and I froze it. I make big batches of it at a time. And I freeze a whole lot of bags of it. So, let me show you that. So, this is my seafood sauce right here. It is frozen, but it's unthawing, y'all. Y'all see that? It's unthawing. Um, so, let me tell y'all about the sauce. What kind of sauce should you use, Alexis? What kind of sauce should I use? I'm going to have to show you a video of how I make it, but I'm going to tell you how I do it. I'm going to tell you number, number one. Y'all already know about the Be Love sauce. So what used to happen is I used to make her sauce, and 
like before she came out the packet i used to make her sauce and i never just really liked it and so what i did was i um what i did was i just said you know what alexis everybody raving about this sauce it i must be doing it wrong so i made it like four times and i didn't like it none of the times i made it. i said man i'm gonna try it one more time and i tried and i said you know i'm gonna add my own stuff so what would i put up in here and that's when I added like some complete, some, I just added different stuff that, that I know I would like in it. And it turned out amazing. And so, and I, and of course I added extra heat. So I did order the packet. Let me show it to y'all. Okay, y'all see that? See, I did order the packet. And I still have a lot of it left. It's like from here, from under sauce mix down, it's still full. Now, so the thing is, she said use the whole packet. I didn't do that. I felt like, number one, as y'all already know, I got to watch my salt intake and sodium intake. Really, same thing. And, bruh, this packet is 66% sodium. So, I said, okay, what I did is I said, I'm going to break it up and break it down. And that's what I did. So whenever I make the rest of that, that'll be another batch. And that one batch that I made, so I ate off it when I made it. Uh, then I was able to freeze like four more bags the size that I just showed y'all. So, and that's really, you really can freeze half of that amount and it still be enough sauce. Because remember, it's a butter sauce and butter what? Spreads. Right, so that's still going to be enough sauce. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all how, how I bust the bag open and how I get it to, you know, that ooey, gooey, chewy, you know, the way you like it. How I do is I cut up me a little bit more onion. As y'all know, I am an onion fan. I'm, I'm addicted to onions. I had to relax. And where will I bounce back? It's another setback. It's so I had a relapse, yeah. Hey, y'all know that song, comment down below. But anyway, just like I said, baby, I relapse on onions and garlic, honey. I, I'm pretty sure y'all do too. But anyway, so I'm like I said, I cut up like a half of an onion and I um. Put I maybe put like a teaspoon, if even that, of butter in there, and I uh cook that till it's translucent. I add my sauce and I just let my sauce cook. And then once my sauce get all hot and piping, it's ready. Now how simple is that? Instead of making that sauce all from scratch, you just pull it out the freezer, baby. She say I think you could freeze it up to six months. I'm pretty sure you could freeze it longer than that. If meat can last in the freezer for a year, I'm pretty sure. You can freeze that longer than that. I say I can say well up to a year, but she ain't gonna tell y'all that because if y'all, it, it, there's no way she come out and have mold on it. There's no way if once you cooked it, it cooled down. You poured it in bags and put it up in the freezer. So I think that bag is like a ladle. Where my ladle at? Right here. I think it's like two of these, like maybe like two, two and a half of these. Literally out of pot, dump them in a bag. I'm pretty sure that's how much it is because I use that. But uh like I said, so let's let's look at our pot right here. Y'all see that? Now what you gonna do now? Oh I got my fire on uh I got it on eight. I boil this up high to get a nice rolling boil going. And all I do is I put put my lid on. Okay, so once I did that, I'm gonna put the rest of my stuff up. But let me tell y'all where I got that pot from. I know you're like, Alexis, Alexis, where did you get that pot? Hey Brandon, hey Brandon, what you got on? As soon as you go on the stove, look above. The, as soon as you go on the stove, usually you go to the right. In both foods down, you go to the right when you come in yeah, that's a and look shame. above the exactly um the section. Sometimes it might be the section where they got the pinatas, or above like the um where they keep like the chicken right there, the fresh chicken in the front where it's not frozen. Look right there, up there. That's why I got that part, and I think this pot was only like twenty three dollars, something like that. What Alexis? Why do you keep that big old pot? Tell huh, duh. So y'all where I keep it. I put it outside. You put I it outside. It hey, yo, bags. who messes this? That's how big it is. I don't know. Let me look at what size trash bag these are. Because it'll give you a hint about how big the pot is. Okay. What size bag is that? Oh. Okay. 13 gallon bag, y'all. So it's a 13 gallon bag. So I have to cover it with two 13 gallon bags. Now the whole thing can fit in one bag, but the top won't be covered. What you don't want is your pot to be sitting outside raining, 
sleet and all that, and your pot rust. You don't want that to happen. So cover it up with a bag. I know. Another tip. Y'all weren't ready for that. But I'm going to come back in about like an hour and a half. Once it's um boiling the way it should be boiling. And red the way it should be red. And I'm going to show y'all what it look like. Okay, y'all. If y'all can only smell how this house smells. Okay, look at the water. Um, grab some. Look at that water. Y'all see that? And remember y'all crab boiling in there. It's in there somewhere. That bag. That bowl in the bag is in there somewhere. So, now we're going to do first is we're going to drop our potatoes and our eggs. Okay, so y'all, it's time to put y'all potatoes. Let me show you how I put them because I'm not about that. Uh, let the water burn your hand life. Let me show you. Get your ladle. Put a potato in your ladle. I know this is going to take a little bit longer than what people want it to take. But you rather that or get your hand burned. Just drop it like that. Let it go. Bye. Like that. And then look, y'all. Tony wanted another potato, so he got a rustic potato. So it's okay. We put that up in there, too. That's what he wants. Because I ain't get a lot. And then he went to the stove and got him some sausage. Bo Jackson's Country Smoke Sausage. Okay, y'all. We put half his sausage. I just cut it in pieces. And then... I put my eggs up in there. Y'all see my eggs? Okay, y'all. Slice up the half of an onion just like this. And thin slices like that. Okay, y'all. Put a tablespoon of butter up in the pot. Put it on three. Y'all see that? Put it on three. Wait till it melt. Okay, y'all. Add your onions to the pot and let them cook down. Okay, y'all. See, y'all see how y'all onions look? Now they perfect. They ready for you to add your sauce. So here we go. Okay, y'all, so just add the sauce in your bag, from your bag, excuse me. And it's already got, like I said, I'm going to show y'all one day how to make this sauce. Can I see? Let them see it's off the pot. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Uh, then, all you do, y'all, is you just let it cook. So let's, um, y'all like my spoon where so I can do all things to right too strict as me. Yes, Lord. Okay, so let's check on our, uh, well, our potatoes and stuff. Y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna poke it to see it's ready. Y'all, this is just butter. Don't try to play me. Oh, <laughs> it's done, y'all. So what we can do now? If that's done, you know your eggs is done. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna grab a bowl and take our stuff out. We'll be right back. Okay, so y'all, uh, Tommy sauce is done. Y'all see him? Oh, they done. This is bowl, y'all. That's Tony Bowl. And then y'all probably gonna be like, "Ugh, his stuff ain't gonna have no seasoning." First of all, this water, babe. Remember the last time I did this bowl? Don't just water if you having a lot of seasoning. I'm telling you, it be bust. Now the hard part is catching stuff. Now I like all these onions and stuff, so I'm putting them up in my bowl. So I'm gonna catch everything, and then I'm gonna show you everything once I pull it out. Right. Did I scare you? Hey, somebody come look at this. Come look at this. Come look at this. Okay, Tony draining everything. Slow down, baby. Slow down. Wait. Sorry. 
Yeah, baby. Oh, baby, you so strong. Okay, y'all, this Tony's. And this mine's. And I'm gonna add the sauce. Here, little sauce. And just pour it over, just like that. Tony don't like sauce, y'all. He like it just the way it is. Ooh, we foggy. See that? Mama. Yeah, baby. We got a problem. What's the problem? The everybody film, they ain't like it. They ain't commenting. They ain't subscribing. They ain't even sharing the video so it can be a blessing to somebody else. They keeping the recipes all to they self. What? Now that's the coldest one. Okay, but what you gonna do about that though? Hold that thought. Mama, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. What is Ghostbusters gonna do? They're gonna bust them up. <laughs>